So if you're interested in the leaf, you have to get an iPhone and uh, <laughs> register in this ad. So uh, let me show you a few things they've done. This is, this is very cool. They want to show how, how efficient the leaf is. And they came up with this really cool way, uh, the new miles per gallon. And so you just tap on this, and it shows you that a leaf goes 38 miles on a dollar, for a dollar, right? A dollar's worth of electricity, in this case, takes you 38 miles. How much will a dollar's worth of fuel uh, take you in some of these other cars? So you just push on the car, and you can see, well, a Hummer doesn't take you very far. <laughs> Uh, you know, a Corvette takes you a little further, a Ford Taurus a little further, uh, you know, Mini Cooper, it's kind of a cool car, that takes you about 10 miles, you know, a, a Civic, uh, they're, they're not so good. Here's a Prius, that's probably a little further. So, you know, this is a pretty doggone compelling way to get their point across, and it's fun. And so this is what iAds are all about. So. And, uh, and then one other very cool thing they're putting in here is the new prize. They are going to actually give away a car. And so you enter through the ad. So I can just shake my phone and change the color, you know? Well, let's say I want a red one. So I enter to win a red one. And, uh, oh, okay, sorry, well, I'll go with that one. And it pulls my name up, my contact information, and I can just submit it. And now I have entered uh, this contest to win a car. Pretty cool, huh? So that is an IAD. <laughs> and I think a lot of people are going to try to win the car. It's a great <laughs> idea. So IADs. IADs start. We're going to turn it on. July 1st for all iOS 4 devices. So July 1st, less than a month from now. Now, how successful have we been in selling iAds? Well, we're new at this. We've never done this before, and we don't know what we're doing. Uh, but we've attracted some pretty exciting brands, and they have committed over $60 million for the second half of this year in the last eight weeks. Well, how much is that? Well, you know, J.P. Morgan just revised their study of U.S. mobile display advertising in the year 2010. They just came out with it a few days ago, and they reiterated their number that they think the mobile display advertising market in the U.S. for the whole year is going to be $250 million. Well, $60 million of that is about that much. But it's actually a little more, because we're only talking about the second half of the year. And so, we're looking at iAds now with just the commitments we've gotten in the last eight weeks to be 48% of the second half 2010 entire US mobile display advertising market. We've only been at this for eight weeks and we're not stopping selling. So we think we're off to a pretty great start. And we'll report back to you on how we do. Uh, but I would encourage you, if you're interested, to sign up for iAds, get the necessary stuff built into your app, and uh, let's go put some ads out there and help, make, help you make some money, because that's our goal in this, to help you earn money so you can continue to create free and low-cost apps to delight users. And we think this is going to work, and we're really excited about it. So. <clears throat> so those are the eight things I wanted to share with you on iPhone 4. What do you think so far? You like it? It's, it's a, I think it's a lot more than people thought it was. I don't know, what do you think? Is it more than you thought? Well, we're really pleased with it. But there is one more thing. And I think it's best that I just show you. Now, I really want your Wi-Fi devices off. Are they off? <laughs> Please turn them off if you've turned them back on. So in 2007, when we launched the iPhone, it was my privilege to make the first public call on stage to 
one of my best friends in the whole world, Johnny Arve, the head of our design team. And uh, I'd like to do the same on this occasion. So I'm going to go ahead and call Johnny now. Johnny. It, uh, this never freezes up, so you guys haven't turned off all your Wi-Fi. Come on, let's get it off, please. <laughs> hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay, except for these guys that aren't turning their Wi-Fi off. It's a bit isn't it? Yeah. You know, this is amazing. I uh, I grew up here in the U.S. with the with the Jetsons and and with uh, Star Trek and communicators, and just dreaming about this. You know, dreaming about video calling, and and it's real now. Now, did you did you I have know, this I, kind I, of stuff I, in England? I, I grew up watching exactly the same TV shows. You know, I, I used to I, I used to love that that sort of wonderful, um, sort of optimistic view of the future, and uh, and it's real now, isn't it? It's real, especially when people turn their Wi-Fi stuff off. <laughs> Sort of odd, isn't it? Because as you know, the, the idea of communicating this way—it's an old idea. It's one that we're we're familiar with. We've just had to wait. We've had to wait an awfully long time for it to become real, haven't we? Yeah. Well, listen. I uh, let's have lunch later on. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Johnny. All right, see you, Steve. So, we call this FaceTime, FaceTime video calling. And it's, it's great. It's iPhone 4 to iPhone 4. Anywhere there is Wi-Fi and there is no setup required. You don't have to find a server. You don't have to type in anything. You don't need a special code. You don't need a buddy list. Nothing. You just make a phone call. You can use the front or the rear camera. You can switch to the rear camera so the person on the other end can see what you're seeing. You just switch back and forth real easy. Portrait or landscape. You turn your phone, it automatically does the right thing on the other side. So if you have two people wanting to talk to somebody, you can just go into landscape and Get a little bit wider aspect ratio. And the video and the audio quality is great. Now, FaceTime is going to be Wi-Fi only in 2010. You need to work a little bit with the cellular providers. Get ready for the future. So we're Wi-Fi only in 2010. And Apple will ship tens of millions of FaceTime devices this year. Tens of millions of FaceTime devices this calendar year. So there's going to be a lot of people to talk to. So FaceTime video calling. We're 